Good morning children. Welcome for today's lecture. Today I am going to teach you grammar lesson. So uh, during the previous lectures I had taken uh, transitive verbs and intransitive verb. Intransitive verbs and explained it to you. Transitive verb is a verb that denotes action that passes over from the doer or subject to the object. Then it requires objects to complete their meaning. Then a verb has an object is transitive. Intransitive expresses state of being. And the action does not pass over to the object. That all I had explained to you with the definition giving an example. Today I am going to take conjunctions. Page number 41 in your grammar book. English grammar book. You have your grammar book separate book no. In that lesson number 14 conjunctions. I've, or till there all the lessons have been taught to you. Today Lesson number 14, conjunctions and I am referring to the grammar of the textual also. In the, after the lesson is over, that also I go through and then explain it to you. Here, after transitive and intransitive word, today I am taking lesson number 14 from your grammar book. That is conjunctions. Understood? Now, what is the definition of conjunction? Conjunction are words that are used to join words, phrases, clauses or sentences. So understand what is the meaning of conjunction. What is conjunction? Conjunction are words. Conjunction means they are words. That are used to. And these words are used for what? To join words, phrases, clauses, sentences. If these words are used to join, then it will make a complete sense. That is known as conjunction. Understood? So what is the definition? Conjunction. Learn it by heart. Understand the meaning. And register it in your mind. So what is conjunction? This is not only for 7th standard. I am repeating again and again. This is throughout your education. So what is conjunction? Underline conjunction. Pick out the conjunctions and write it down. All these questions may come at that time. What is conjunction? That the definition should must come into your mind. What it is? They are words that are used to join. Um, words, phrases, clauses, sentences. If we join this, then it will make a complete meaning. For example, the boy was unhappy because he had lost his book. See, this sentence, the boy was unhappy joint conjunction because he had lost his book if this because uh, this was added it has made complete meaning and this addition is known as conjunction got it now that ways will break if you are not careful there's a flower pot on the table it will break if conjunction if you are not careful it will fall down and break understood we stood mute but motionless we all stood quietly and silently without any movement, motionless, but. So understood, but, because, if, all these are the words that are joining. And these are known as conjunction. So what is conjunction? Conjunction are words that are used to join words, phrases, clauses, sentences. Understood? Now comes interjections. Before conjunctions, I will uh, take, uh, see there are many exam this fill in the blanks with correct conjunctions from those given in bracket. Isn't it? 14th lesson. See, first one is given in your textbook. We stood mute and motionless. Motionless and motionless. It is not but motionless and it is and. Sorry. It is and motionless. We stood mute and motionless. Understood? So that is the sentence. We stood mute and motionless. Then second is this. Uh, huh. Then I was surprised to see that our worship was fleeing. So understood? Page number 41. Question number 2. Fill in the blanks with correct conjunctions. Certain 10 points are there that I will read and give the answer. If you uh, will watch the video, you can copy it down. So then third one is Citizens make a noise when, underline that is conjunction, they spurt water from the blue holes. Fourth one, he was offered his freedom, but, underline, he did not take, take it. Fifth one, he did not join the other crows, 
because he was really a jungle crow underline because that is conjunction sixth one if man was meant to talk more and listen less he would have two mouth and only one ear so both the sections you should underline and they are the conjunctions then answer or i will send the dog at you or underline his face filled with happiness as of when you can use he remembered his dream that you can underline ninth one we were wondering if or whether we could have a few of your students visiting us every month so what should be underlined if you can use or whether then tenth one although or though it was still afternoon lights had begun to appear in the shop so although or though we have to underline that is the conjunction so answers of those fill in the blanks of 10 i have read it and given it to you you can listen to the lecture and can copy it in your grammar book okay now next comes interjection what is an interjection interjections are words that express strong feeling interjections are always followed by exclamation mark so what is interjection interjection means that expresses strong feeling and it always is followed by exclamation marks wow alas ouch hooray all this exclamation marks no it is followed by that and it expresses strong feelings for example see alas my life ended to sudden so suddenly wow what a fabulous sight ouch this knife is sharp understood this is exclamation mark so always try to understand this see in that lesson only fill in the blanks with correct interjection question number 3 isn't it what it is hey you just bumped into me loss that is end of the wonderful friendship view it's really terribly hot today hooray our team was has won the match great we can finally give the presentation now so this is the answers so what is the first before solving the questions you should understand the uh, definition why what is conjunction conjunctions are words that are used to join words phrases clauses and sentences if it is if, but if because when and all these joining makes complete sense then interjection expresses strong feeling and it is followed by an exclamation mark wow hooray ouch alas great but you should put exclamation mark understood so these two uh, definition understand properly and so, so that it will be become useful for you your further studies understood so we will go on with the next le next lesson in the another lecture of this grammar portion so and uh, read it copy it in your book and try to understand and don't forget let it keep it in register registered in your mind because this is grammar without grammar english is impossible so before understanding grammar what is the best method you should understand the definition that is why i am again and again repeating understood so uh, in the next lecture we will be coming with the another lesson till then take care thank you